The population of the East is set to rise dramatically in the years ahead. Across the region, it's expected to go up by 22% in just two decades. But that regional figure is, of course, just an average. Some places, like the area covered by Uttlesford District Council, are under even greater pressure. Here it is, Saffron Walden in the north and Great Dunmo in the south, and the M11 right through the middle. The big employer, Stansted Airport. The population here is expected to grow by 31% in 20 years. That's an increase of 24,000 people. So where will they go? Kim Riley has spent the day in Saffron Walden. I'm in the market square of a town that's been judged one of the best places to live in the whole country. And of course, it's hardly surprising. People want to move here. Today, local planners were considering plans for hundreds of new homes in the town. I've been trying to find out a little bit more about Saffron Walden. It's got its name originally from the saffron trade. And the big question now is, can its ancient charms be reconciled with the demands of a growing population? Towering over the town, the Church of St Mary the Virgin, the largest parish church in Essex. Beneath it, the old medieval slums of Castle Street are today desirable and expensive properties. There aren't many towns with a tourist information centre that has over 100,000 people a year pass through its doors, both visitors and locals. We have so much to offer in terms of tourist attractions, um, green open spaces, lovely independent local shops, fantastic community cinema, we have a world-class concert arena which has just been built in the town as well. So much to bring people to the town and that's without more than 300 listed buildings in the town centre. So it's pretty special. Very special indeed. Very, very proud to work here. At the offices of the Walden Local newspaper, they know there's nothing like planned housing developments to agitate their readers. John Brooker has been the paper's editor for over 20 years. He says more than 1,300 families on the local housing waiting list won't be the ones to benefit. I think the people in the town are quite annoyed that while they've got young families been on waiting lists for years, hundreds and hundreds of people are going to be brought in from outside. I really don't understand that. You know, surely if we've got a waiting list, why aren't we dealing with that? But it doesn't seem to be a sensible answer. Bridget Elliott, originally from Norfolk, came to live in Saffron Walden more than 50 years ago. She loves the town, has fought to protect it, but fears for its future. We would be very distressed to see what, what is so beautiful spoiled, and that could easily happen um, with the uh, pressure of population, traffic, fumes, um, aircraft, the attraction of the area could be destroyed. I'm quite elderly so I shan't see it but I wouldn't like it for the next generations. Bridget Elliott talking to me a little earlier and she says it's now up to younger people to as it were rise to the challenge and ensure that those fears she has over the long-term future of the town aren't realized. Kim Riley, BBC Look East, Saffron Walden. Well, that's the situation in the town, so what was happening at the council offices? Very specific plans were being put forward for three new housing developments. And as ever, they proved controversial. Gareth George reports now on the decisions, the plans and the protesters. There was no chanting. This protest was a polite one, but there was no mistaking the strength of feeling. Among the many worries, more homes means more traffic and more pollution. All these houses are going to do, 700 if they're approved today, is going to multiply the number of cars that need to pass through the town centre. There's no mitigating for that at all. And we are very concerned because pollution kills so many people already. The district council is still proceeding with their original plan as despite the express wishes of the vast majority of local residents. Inside one of the most important planning meetings in Saffron Walden for years. For consideration, three separate applications, each for hundreds of homes. Developers wanted to build 300 homes here, 230 homes here, and 167 homes here. Opposed back in the meeting by speaker after speaker, but not all were anti. They included representatives of local sports clubs because one of the developers, Kia Homes, has offered land for a sports complex and sports grounds if its planning application goes through. 
But Sharon Morris says her daughter Esme's health is already affected by pollution in the town centre. She believes more homes would make it worse and put pressure on schools and health services. These three new developments which will bring in, a, in excess of 700 homes um, and in excess of 1,100 vehicles it, it will just be the straw that breaks the camel's back. After hours of debate in the committee, permission for 230 homes was given, but the 300 home application was rejected. I think it's a, it's a sad day for Saffron Walden, it's not a good day. Um, one of the councillors today pointed out we have 1,831 people on our housing waiting list. It seems the protesters have a partial victory. Gareth George, BBC Look East.